Hi guys, Elliot here from Tintsk Online and in this video we're going to be comparing four of the most used steamers in the tint industry and this is to find out which one is going to be the best value for you and your tint business. So we are going to be comparing four steamers. We have the Comfort Day Steam Pod, the Wagner 715 Wallpaper Steamer, the Jiffy J4000 from 44 Tools, and the Chief Mini 65. And this is to see which one is going to be best for removing the window film. Now what I see many window tinters do is they just go out and buy whatever blows out steam and that's it. But these window tinters may not have actually used a better steamer. So they don't really know the difference between a good one and a bad one. But in this video, Again, we're gonna break it all down for you so you can make the best decision possible. And as many of you may know, unfortunately, removing window film is just part of the job. And if you have at least three months experience, I can pretty much guarantee you've dealt with window film removal job. That is just so depressing. You know, it takes far more time than expected and you know, it just drags out and takes up other job spaces. So investing in a steamer that is good can save you countless hours uh, to which you could have been focusing on tinting more cars or even just growing your business in general. So the purpose of the steamer is gonna to be to warm up the film enough to soften the glue and it effectively does the same as a heat gun, but it's not gonna burn through the film when you're removing it. And more importantly, uh, you're not gonna burn the interior when using a steamer. And in today's video, um, again, we're gonna just factor in everything so you can make the best possible decision for your tint business when it comes to getting the steamer. So again, we have the four steamers um, we're gonna to compare today. Uh, number one is gonna be the Minipod Comfort Day Steamer. Now this is from Amazon and it is a cheap steamer. Um, but we do see a lot of people use this one. Number two is the Wallpaper Stripper Steamer. This can be bought at Home Depot or a similar shop. Um, they're mostly the same when they look like this, but this is the Wagner 715 Steamer. Up next is the Jiffy J4000 Proline Commercial Steamer. Now this is what you see in a lot of window tint tool websites. And lastly, we have the Chief Mini 65 Commercial Steamer. Now we're gonna be comparing five things uh, that will factor in your decision on the purchase. Number one is gonna be the price of the steamer. Number two is gonna be the capacity of water that the steamer holds. Number three is the time it takes to heat up cold water. Number four is the functionality of the steamer in general. And number five, which is most important, is gonna be how hot they get the glass, which again is the most important factor when it comes to removing window film. Now, for you guys, we've actually bought a thermal imaging camera just for this tutorial, so you guys can really see everything through your screen instead of you know just listening to my opinion of how hot I think it is. Um, you know, and I may as well get this in now. If you can like the video and subscribe, I would you know, really greatly appreciate it. And it's gonna really help my channel. Um, you know, and if you've seen the channel before, we only upload high value, interesting videos. So we're not gonna spam you for views. So I really would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. So the first thing that we're gonna compare is gonna be the price. Now, first is gonna be the steamer pod from Amazon, and that's just $32 being the cheapest of all the steamers. Number two is gonna be the wallpaper stripper from Home Depot, which cost us $50. Uh, three is the J4000, which cost us $335. And fourth is gonna be the Chief Mini 65 at $429. Um, next up is gonna be the capacity of water that they hold. First, second, and third all tie at one gallon of water. And fourth, obviously, the steamer pod from Amazon only holds 250 milliliters of water. Um, next up is gonna be the time they take to heat up 250 milliliters of water. So first was the Wagner wallpaper steamer, which took just two minutes and 10 seconds. That was followed very closely by the steam pod, which took two minutes and 19 seconds. Then the J4000 and the Chief were both exactly four minutes 36. And please remember that this was just 250 milliliters of water, so this is gonna be a fair comparison. But the J4000, the Chief and the steam pod all have stainless steel insides, so they can stay warmer for longer. And I actually learned this the hard way um, when I made this video, because I forgot to turn the steam pod on, and um, the other two steamers, the Chief and um, the J4000, actually took four hours for them to cool down so I could actually carry out the test. So next up is gonna be the functionality of the steamer. Now this is rated by me personally, of course, you know, different people may have different opinions on what they like. Um, first and second, I gave it to the Chief Mini 60 and the Steamer Pod Pro. Now they have quick release valves, so they can, you know, they really steam instantly and they're very portable. And with the Chief having a longer cord also, you know, you can leave them in the car and not have to worry about it splashing on you or burning 
showing you, which is just great. Uh, third was a Jiffy J4000. Uh, this had the option to leave the steamer on standby mode, but it has to be done on the box. And last is gonna be the Wagner wallpaper steamer that has no option to turn off the steamer, so it just runs continuously. Now this can be a huge pain, but what it means is you're just gonna have to strip all the film off at once. Um, you know, you can't just leave it on standby mode or do one window at a time, but for me, it's not too big of a pain because that's usually what I do when I do film removals. And lastly, this is gonna be the final showdown and this is the most important part and it's basically the effectiveness of the actual steamer. This is gonna be how hot that it gets the glass. So we're gonna be heating up a section on the glass for 15 seconds and then we're gonna heat a section on the glass for 30 seconds to see how hot it gets. But we're gonna be aiming our thermal imaging camera at the exact spot so you, know, you can see the test behind your screen. So we have all four cameras uh, on at once and the label in the corner is gonna be what steamer they are. So we start the test from 26 degrees. So the glass of standard is around 20 to 21 degrees, um, but we only started counting when it got to 26. We found this to be the best way to test it evenly. And as you can see already, the results are gonna be surprising for some. So after just 15 seconds, First was the J4000 at 44.4 degrees. Second was the Wagner at 43.9 degrees. Third was the Steam Pod at just 31.5 degrees. And last was the Chief at just 31.2 degrees. So I know that may look very surprising to some, but we're gonna let it run for another 15 seconds um, and we're gonna see what the results look like then. So after another 15 seconds, first was the Wagner, which just overtook the Jiffy and it came in at 57.8. Next was the J4000 at 55.4, then the Chief was third at 35.8, and the Steam Pod was at 35.6. So the last two didn't really move that much. Now I'm sure you can agree with me that that is really interesting results. 20 degrees is a massive difference when it comes to removing window film. You know, it could be the difference to one leaving a back window full of glue and one coming off with no glue at all, which as we know, it can sometimes be an hour or more on the job. Now here's another interesting test. Um, with the Wagner, you actually get a closed box attachment, which we decided to attach and you know run on one section with the timer on. So we're gonna compare the attachment with the Wagner against the Wagner with no attachment so we can see the difference. So after 15 seconds, the Wagner with the attachment got to 47.6 degrees, but bear in mind, this is gonna be heating an area that's five times bigger than without the attachment. But here's where it gets really interesting. Look what another 15 seconds can do when we compare these two. So as you can see, the Wagner with the attachment got to a whopping 79.3 degrees, which is another 20 degrees hotter than if we compare it without the attachment. And again, it's heating a far bigger controlled area. So we just thought that was interesting to throw in, but we know with everything factored in, and we've given the Tint School Online Steamer Comparison winning award to the Wagner Wallpaper Steamer 715. And it comes in at only $50. And with the attachment, it just makes it a clear winner um, when we look at the thermal heating comparison. And this is gonna be the best option by far. Second is the J4000. I do like the fact it has the wheels, it has a standby mode, and it's a nice convenient holder on top. Um, but you know, with the pricing involved, it can't beat the Wagner. Third is the Steam Pod. Um, cheaper, more compact, not really very effective, but of course it's gonna make a difference when removing tint if you compare it to no steamer at all, but just not enough of a difference for me. The steam just wasn't hot enough, and you can blow this and the Chief directly on your hand without even squaring, whereas the J4000 and the Wagner, you know, I can tell you now that that really burns when it splashes on your hand. And fourth and last place is the Chief Mini 65. Now, this would have took third, um, but the price just makes it dead last. And I'm sure this is a great steamer for doing other things, Things. you know the quality of it by far is the best out of all of them especially with the handle and the release valve but here we are a tint channel and we are here to help you with anything tint related so that is what we have to factor in so guys thanks for watching um, the links for all of these steamers are below and they're not going to be affiliate links so feel free to buy from anywhere if you want but they're there if you need them and one more thing it is actually a competition time. So we're actually giving these four steamers away to the four most contributors in our private members only tint vault group. Now this is a closed group, um, so everyone comfortably talks about the tinting business. And one of the main rules is no bashing. And we are actually the most active window tint group in the industry, despite only having 600 members to date. And this is why we're like a family. Now the winners of top contributors uh, for this group for the month of December 2020 are number one, we have Brandon Amanda Emery. Um, number two, we have Eric Ellis. Number three is Corey Morrow. And number four is Isaiah Alonso. Now the choice of which steamers you guys want is gonna be the highest 
higher number of the contributor award, you're gonna get the first pick. So send me a personal message, guys, and um, you know, let me know which one you want. Now, lastly, we have a massive prize for one of the biggest influencers in the group who smashed this year and is constantly helping everybody else, and that is Uncle John, who is going to be getting a free 54-inch Jaguar plotter. Now, keep doing your thing, guys, and we wish you all the success for next year. And if you guys want to see us compare anything else, just please let us know in the comments section, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.